Welcome back to Informi News with all the latest news from the world of immigration. For some time, immigration experts have affirmed that European models such as the assimilationist approach in France or multiculturalism in Britain and the Netherlands have major limitations. Now, Germany has also done so, as confirmed recently by Angela Merkel. The German Chancellor said that the multicultural model in Germany has utterly failed. She then added that Germany does not have enough qualified workers and cannot do without immigrants, but these must integrate and adopt German culture and values. Reaffirming that Germany remains an open country, she concluded by saying we do not need immigration which is a burden on our welfare system. To remain on the scene, the experts believe it is necessary to identify ways of interacting rather than resorting to models. In Trentino, for example, when defining the key aspects of the coexistence plan approved by the provincial government in 2009, it was stated that it is fundamental to research and study forms of interaction between the cultures present in Trentino with the scope of identifying and acquiring common rules and values while respecting differences. It is also affirmed that encouraging cultural exchanges may lead to greater knowledge of one's roots and stimulate people to fully experience them in the context of openness and reciprocity to disperse the fear that generates intolerance. By the middle or at the latest the end of next year, four new centers for identification and expulsion will have opened in Veneto, Marche, Tuscany and Campania. The announcement was made directly by the Minister of the Interior, Roberto Magoni, during a sitting of the Schengen Parliamentary Committee. The Minister then explained that the management of the centres will be entrusted to the Italian Red Cross in the future. Magoni said that the Red Cross must be present in all the centres in order to ensure the same standards are applied everywhere. The scope of a planning agreement recently signed by the Minister of Employment and Welfare Policy and the Sicily, Campania, Calabria and Puglia regions is to develop experimental policy in the field of employment designed to prevent black market labour. The intervention is intended to reinforce coordinated action to combat illegal labour involving immigrant workers. It provides in particular for the creation of a network of relations between institutions and those involved in combating black market work, the reinforcing of supply and demand networks and rapid inclusion of the unemployed in the labour market. That's all for today from the world of immigration. Goodbye and thank you for joining us. <laughs>